Welcome back to another video. My name is Aaron and I help people expand their consciousness. Now, in this video, I'm going to be explaining the truth on the idea of predictions and really understanding the most effective way that we can go about predicting what we call our future. Now, this is something I want to do because it's something I see a very common misconception behind this whole di idea of understanding predictions and really it comes upon understanding the base idea of what we call quote unquote time. The idea is that the only moment that exists is this moment right now, that a prediction of the future can exist in the old frame for the way that we describe the idea of prediction because the future doesn't exist from a like experiential point of view because we can really only experience this moment now. By the time the future gets here, it'll be this moment now. Now, with that being understood, I remember, this is a quick story about this, I remember that I was walking around, or no, I was sitting at a mall at a place that I used to work and I was in the cafe, it was actually, it was Nordstrom Cafe when I used to work at Nordstrom's here in Las Vegas at Fashion Show Mall and I was eating at Nordstrom Cafe like I do almost every day when I worked there and I was reading this business book. I forget what book it was, but I knew it was a personal development book. But this lady walked around and she saw me. She had this like mystical type vibe. Like you could tell that maybe she was into like the spiritual side of things or the, just that kind of energy about her. And she came up to me and she was like, oh, um, you know, I just wanted to tell you that in the future you're going to own a successful business. And of course, this is like I was a lot less um, like where I am now with like the way I think about things, but I thought it was really cool and I was um, kind of excited about it because I was like, ooh, I'm going to own a business or something like that. And of course, it was something that I wanted to hear. I mean, you can't go, you go up to anybody pretty much and you're like, hey, you're going to be a successful business owner. And of course, you're going to be like, oh, yeah, that's something I seek happening or whatever. And that's what I experienced. And I remember thinking about it in that moment. And I thought about it a lot afterwards. Now, then, of course, let me add that right after that, she was like, if you want to know more, go get $20 out of the ATM and I'll tell you more. So the idea behind this is right from the get go of me having that kind of experience. I'm not saying that people that that can't predict the future don't exist. I'm saying that it's in an outdated understanding of what that really is. Now understand this. I was reading a book that was a personal development book. I was wearing a suit. I looked like I was focused into what I was doing. And a lot of people that are on the journey of personal development, or maybe they have just a certain vibe about them. If you could tell, you know, some people just have a vibe about them that you could say, yeah, that dude's on top of his shit, or that dude's a focused person, or she looks like she really knows where she's going in life. Whatever it is, the idea is that in this moment right now, you can sense where someone is going or kind of sense their energy. And the idea was that the idea of predictions under the old model is the idea that we look into the future, we see what that person is doing, and then somebody outside of us, the psychic, is telling us what that is. Now, the idea under the new definition for what this is, under the level of awareness, is understanding that the idea of predictions, that there really is no such thing as a prediction of the future. There is only a sensing of the energy as it exists right now. And if the momentum of that energy can continues to go in that direction, it can be probable that certain things happen. But if the energy moves at all, the idea is that that prediction may be obsolete. Now, let me give you an example of that. If I were to tell you that I could see in the future that you were going to walk around tomorrow and stub your toe at the grocery store. Well, one thing you could do is you could simply the next day decide you ain't gonna go to the grocery store and you then void that option obsolete. So the idea is that once we hear the idea of a prediction, we have the ability to change that momentum because just from knowing it, we can then make a new choice or we can shift the idea of the timeline. So the idea behind this is understanding that the only moment that exists is right now, that there's only a sensing of the energy that exists right now. And if that energy doesn't change, it can be likely that some things happen. Let me just give you an example of how the most effective way we can go about predicting our future really is. It's understanding that we have free will. 
The future is not set. The future has different probabilities and potentials for what could happen. Now, maybe, and I'll talk about this in a future idea, the idea could be that before we came to this life, the idea is that we decided that maybe there were certain things we wanted to experience, but a lot of times those are very in general ways. And the idea is that in the specifics and details of it, that can change depending upon the free will of the actions we take in the present moment. Now, with that being said, I could say and um, tell you that it'd be likely that I continue to go along the journey that I'm doing with creating YouTube videos and that somewhere down the line, whether it takes me a month, six months, 10 months, a year, 10 years, that wherever it is, that eventually I'll be able to teach and speak and do things like this for a living. Now, I can tell you that that's probable because I'm taking action with it. I'm continuing to do it. I'm continuing to put passion into it because I love to do it and I'm not going to give up. It's something I focused on, something I think about all the time and it's easy for me to think about because I enjoy doing it. Now, the idea behind that is if I continue to go and I know that I'm not going to, you know, change the momentum of that because I'm going to continue to do it, it could be a probable thing that happens somewhere in the idea of the future. Now, the time that it happens, I don't really know that. And maybe there are some people that say that they can tap into some things like that, but I think that it's much more likely that as long as in the present moment we are doing everything that we can to create the kind of momentum that we want in our lives, that is the best way to actually predict the idea of our future, is to actually create it, to understand that the actions that we take in the present moment are shifting us to different potentials of energy, to different quote unquote timelines based upon the choices we make in the present moment, the energy state of being that we're in and the kind of energy and like the things that we're immersing ourselves in. So our environment. And the idea is that the more we focus on that perspective, the more power we have because we see that the future is not set. It is something we are constantly perpetuating over and over again. And the real power in this is understanding that because the only moment that exists is now, that's where the point of power is. And if we focus on doing everything we can in the present moment, to have direction to where we're going, we're then going to find that things begin to happen easier and easier, and we don't really need somebody outside of us to predict our future because we know what's going on within us. We know where we're headed. We know where the direction is. We might not know the details, but we have a general feeling for what that is, and we're going to continue to go in that direction. So I hope this video today helps you at some level understand that you have the ability to shift the potentials of where you're headed, understanding that the only the only way to really predict the idea of the future is through creating it in the present moment right now. And other than that, as always, feel free to like this video if you like it, share it if you found it of value, and as always, I will see you guys in the next vid. Alright, peace, much love, namaste. Alright, bye.